From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Max, along with my partners Noah and Jai. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, <laughs> beating, <laughs> beating the Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry... <laughs> Steph Curry led all scores, scores with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home, home finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media that he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in Cavs' locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by the ringer.com, Brian Col uh, Col Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Now let's go to hockey. Now, Washington clipped to Las Vegas 4-3 in game five of the finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first postseason championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goddell said the new policy was approved by unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claim they are not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the fight the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the stable list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. <laughs> That'll wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners Noah and Jai, I'm Matt Stromer. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sport Broadcasting Center. I am Carter Williamson, along with my partners Luke Lapidus and, and Beckett Simpson. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scores with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced that to the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs' locker room following the team's game one loss. For more NBA news, while Hoops fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with, involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by the ringer.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they're conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named Playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved ununanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robertson Cano um, for, 
for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who's currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United-bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of the World Cup warm-up against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center for my partners Beckett Simpson and Carter Williamson. I'm Luke Lapidus. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Elijah Nasseri, along with my partners, Zachary Goldstein and Matthew Mears. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media, he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoop fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing uh, off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a, a scathing exp expo exposed by the ringer.com Brian Calangio has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an inter internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 with the finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Overchin was named playoff MVP after sending a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. The marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball, MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against, the, against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Matthew Mirich, Elijah Nasseri. I'm Zachary Goldstein. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Xavier Volander, along with my partners, Tyler Shaver and Abraham Friedman. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are, in the, are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers and want to... From, beating the um, Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the NBA Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James has announced to the media he played the final three games with a broken hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavaliers locker room following the team, game's, team game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoop stands focus on the best time on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with, involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by Ringo.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named Playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 goals. 
This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem, po anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, have, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new polity was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano for 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That'll wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Xavier Bollinger and Abraham Friedman. I'm Tyler Shaver. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Archie Windsor, along with my partners, Zach Bennett and Jack Waterstone. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second year in a row. Follow following the game, LeBron James announced that the, to, the, to the media, he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scattering exposed by the ringer.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and, the, and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named MV, playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodwell said the new policy was approved anonymously by the owners. But within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed that they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano for 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Zach Bennett and, Art and, Z and Jack Waterstone, I'm Archie Windsor. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Liam Henriquez, along with my partners, Declan Ney and um, Rashad Vagiwala. For the third time in the last four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, being the Cleveland Cavaliers 108 to 85 in Game Four of the Finals, the NBA Finals, to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home home Finals MVP for back to, for the second straight back-to-back -back year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media. He, that he played the final three games of the finals with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavaliers' locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While the Hoops fans focused on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court 
to de issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing exposed by the ringer.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say, that, say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named Playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the, nation, for the nation's capital since the Redskins' Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The National Football League has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the choice to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners. However, within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball, the MLB has suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star. He was currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has injured what has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the tra training session. That'll wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, uh, Liam Henriquez and Rashad Vagewala, I'm Declan Day. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Dominic Malunzi along with my partners, Max Lager and Hugo Traverso. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108 to 85 in game four of the NBA Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off the court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In the scathing expose of by the ringer.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the, na for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in, in 1992. Now to football, the NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner, Ro Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners said they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United-bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Australia. Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Dominic Malanzi and Hugo Traverso, I'm Max Langer. Good night. 
From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Piper Green, along with my partners, Madison Turner and Duke Pudo. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, being the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85. to In Game 4 of the Finals, to complete the sweep, Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by the ringer.com, Brian, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clip Las Vegas 4-3 to in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ogvenski was named playoff MVP after sitting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the Nationals Capitals since the Redskins Super Bowl crown 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said that the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed that they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball, MLB sus suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training season. That will wrap it all up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Duke Garapudo and Piper Green, I'm Madison Turner. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Matthew Chavez along with my partner, Timmy Neiman. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to media he played the final three games of the series with a broken hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the team's Game 1 loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of the, of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by the ringer.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 to in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the third time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a national anthem policy requiring players to stand up if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell says the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed that they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. 
The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center for my partner, Timmy Neiman. And I'm Matthew Chavez. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Charles Wyrick, alongside with my partners, Joshua Seidelman and Carter Lawrence. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced in the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs' locker room following the, game, uh, the team's Game 1 loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by TheRinger.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff um, MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the, the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they, did not, they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out of the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Charles Wyrick and Carter Lawrence, I'm Joshua Seidelman. Good night. From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Tyler Fertel, along with my partners, Matthew Michaels and Hudson Hamer. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scorers with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs locker room following the, t the team's game one loss. More NBA news. While Hoops fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Sixers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving Philly's general manager. In a scathing expose by TheRinger.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Hockey now. Washington clipped Las Vegas 4-3 in Game 5 of the Finals to hoist the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Cap star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the nation's capital since the Redskins Super Bowl crown in 1992. Now to football. The NFL has a new 
and national anthem policy requiring players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball, MLB suspended Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's PED policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star, who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. The 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the rest of the training session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center for my partners, Hudson Hamer and Tyler Fertel. I'm Matthew Michaels. Good night.